Today's drill is going to make every single golfer move like a pro in their golf swing. So with this being Sunday Swings, let's have a look at this week's winner, Bobby Singh. So looking at his swing with the driver right now and from the down the line perspective, we can see that the setup and the posture is quite upright. Now anytime we've got a posture like this, it makes it hard to move athletically. Also, you can see through the whole swing, it's a very arm-driven swing, so we need to get these two factors working a little bit better. A better setup, more athletic. And number two, how do we engage the body a little bit better? Now jump into the face-on perspective with driver as well, you can see the same thing. Very much a squatting move in the backswing, not an athletic move, and no stretch between the upper and the lower. So we can, Bobby, make you swing this a little bit faster and hit some little bit longer shots. This is Sunday swings and if you're brand new to Alex Elliott Golf you're probably wondering what is Sunday Swings well this is the part on my channel where I give you a chance to win a free swing analysis and drills to improve your game like who doesn't want that right who doesn't want that so this week's winner is Bobby but if you want to be next week's winner all you've got to do is number one hit that big red subscribe button that's that one down there and also comment down below hashtag pick me two of the most simple things you can do to enter Enter into this week's Sunday Swings. Winner will be announced in the middle of the week and feature on next Sunday's video. First point of call, we need to get standing to this golf ball a little bit more athletically. And that's really gonna help us move more athletically because if we stand upright, it's very, very hard to engage everything. And for example, Bobby's move, there's a squat down in this backswing. Not very efficient in terms of movement and speed in the golf swing. Remember, everything that I'm saying, you can apply to your golf game as well. So it's not just specific to Bobby, it is for everyone. This is a really simple way we can make sure we're standing to the golf ball better. I want to just go for this analogy straight away. Imagine you're a goalkeeper, American footballer, and we're ready to go. We're ready to pounce either way, left, right, forwards, back, ready to tackle somebody. If we're stood like this and ready to go hands together this is exactly how we want to stand to the golf ball and you might think well that sounds too simple well it, all it is is simple I want you to stand over it and be ready to go left right turn whatever it might be whatever sport we need to stand to this golf ball athletically now I want to run through some checkpoints which are going to help you get into the setup a little bit easier if it's a little bit foreign to you because me saying that you might not know into that mirror if you're in those correct points so this is exactly how I want you to do it off the golf ball to begin with, we're going to do this for a driver Pacific right now. I want you to turn the left toe out, move the right foot away, so we're shoulder width apart. Now at this point, I just want you to keep these legs straight right now. Just keep these legs straight. I'm going to hold this club up into the air with the sole to the sky, lower it until it runs parallel to the ground. Now all I'm looking for right now is for you to tilt forwards with the hips until the club hits the ground. So now I've got a lot more forward bend, I'm a lot more over the golf ball, and then I want you to slightly bend the knees. So you can see now, middle of my hip goes through the middle of my foot, my armpits are over my toes. My ability to move and load now becomes far greater than stood upright like this. This makes it very much arms driven. This leads itself to being a lot more athletic. So once we're into this setup, all I want you to do we shuffle forwards onto the gold ball, keeping everything constant. We're now in a really good athletic place to, to hit this one away. Now it's time to start moving better in your golf swing. And all I'm gonna need now is a head cover. And this is gonna be an ultimately perfect drill and something that you could even do out on the golf course. With this driver head cover, what I want you to do is very, very simple. Get into your golf posture, left knuckle to the sky, right palm to the sky. And what I'm looking for here is, you should feel that the right, right arm and left arms are just on the side of your body throughout. So we said at the start, this swing was very much arms driven. Now, in this split grip drill, you can see this very easily, if the arms are being the main driver of this golf swing. What I'm looking for right now, for you to make your golf swing a little bit more athletic, load into the back swing, feel power on the way through, is this move. So we're gonna swing it to the top, and you can see now, as I do this, up to hip height, I have a driver which is ultimately going to be my upper half. I then collect the lower, and look how much more complete my swing is. I've got a split between the upper and the lower in terms of stretch, and that is going to help me create a lot more speed, a lot more power in my swing. 
So the move for the downswing is gonna be a little bit different to what all of you potentially are gonna feel. So we're all working on shallowing the club and strengthening the face, and that's something that every golfer wants to do, to create more speed and more power. So the move I'm looking for you to create here is one, to get that big stretch and move from the top. And you can see now my left arm is straight, not locked out, but straight. It's a wide arc. Anytime we've got a wide arc, we're gonna create more speed and more power. That move in the downswing now, I want you to feel like it gathers from the lower half and we feel like we ring the towel. So watch this, we feel like you ring the towel. Ring the towel, so knuckles over to the ground, ring the towel, put it in front, move it through to the top, ring the towel, move it through to the top, ring the towel, move it through. So that last parallel point, I've got my right hand on top, I've got my knuckles to the ground, I feel like I've kept that width, but I've rung that towel. Now, you might be saying, what is that move doing? Well, that's ultimately keeping that relationship of you shallowing the club and strengthening the face in the downswing. So what does this move look like with driver in our hand now? So we've got a more athletic setup that leads itself to moving more athletically in the golf swing. That's gonna help us hit it faster, longer but ultimately be more consistent that's everything we want to do so what does that move of split grip and ringing the towel look like so the next progression of this is to actually do a split grip on the driver so again we're going to get into golf posture remembering those points of being a little more athletic knuckles to the sky palms to the sky and the key thing here is I do this drill as if that club face was square so if it's the side of us it's gonna look like the toe is going straight up and down on this golf club I don't want it in this area, I don't want it in this area to start with. So we've got that split grip. Let's move this club to the top. Look at the points that I've got. I've got a nice turn between upper and lower. My right leg slightly lost flex. And what I'm looking for now is that move of shallow and strengthen. Up, shallow and strengthen. So at impact, I've got my hips open to target, my shoulders parallel to target line into impact. And I want you to just keep doing this move at home because if you can feel something that's wider and more turned, strengthened in the terms of the club face and shallowed with the club shaft, it's gonna help create more speed easier. So let's just have a look at what I wanna see at last parallel. Now I mentioned ringing that towel. This is what we would like to see with the club face. So to the top, feel the stretch, ring the club face, right elbow in. So look at this now. Club face is matching my spine. It's gone from this position in the drill to this position and look at this impact pointing straight down towards target as long as I keep rotating through. So if you can keep doing that move and this is for everybody, it's gonna help create wider arc, more speed, more power and well, longer golf shots. Right, we are out on the golf course now. This is what I want you to do. One rep, turn it up to hip height, giving that, that lead arm parallel to the ground, engage the lower half, bring it in, move it through. Second rep to the top, strength and shallow, picture the shot you're about to hit. Right, now time to pull that trigger. All I want you to feel in this swing is can I get a more athletic turn? And that will come from a better setup as well. Absolutely boomed. I mean like, wow. That was probably one of the best shots I've hit in a long time. And again, this all stems from a better setup, a better dress position, better move in the backswing, and that feeling of shallowing and strengthening that face can't go wrong. As long as we engage that body, it's gonna help us move much better in the golf swing. So remember guys, that is this week's Sunday Swings. If you wanna be a winner on next week's Sunday Swings, all you have to do is one, hit that big red subscribe button, and number two, make sure you comment down below, hashtag pick me. So let's pick a few comments out from last week's Sunday swings and this was how to stop your slice with driver and I'm gonna leave a link to that video right up here now so the first comment I'm gonna bring up is from Peter Kelly he said tucking the right elbow in is really helping me keep my drives on the fairway thanks so much so much Alex hashtag pick me next here from Jack Harris really loving the content can you cover driver tips as much as possible so there you go Jack there's another one how to stand to the golf ball better how to feel some better width and ring that towel in the downswing to keep that face under control. A lot of us who won't ring that towel will lose this ball off 
to the right and that's something we don't want to happen. The final comment I'm going to bring up here is from Dave G. He said, great video Alex, great visual of how to get the, the wrist affecting the swing. I've been working on this and I've seen the improvement. Thanks so much. Hashtag pick me. Guys, thanks so much for the support. I really do appreciate all the support that you have been giving me right now and especially on the Sunday Swings video. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow for Miracle Monday.